know, there is an electrical mechanism, there is a powerhouse within the heart that generates the electricity where it originates from. And then just like anywhere when you have to take electricity from point A to point B, there are wires that take that electricity. So just like that in the heart, there are specialized wires or specialized cells that take that electricity from point A to point B. The normal conduction going, you know, originating from a certain area, going down specialized nerve fibers and going all the way down to the lower chamber. When you hear a heartbeat, you hear two heart sounds, lup up, lup up. Basically, it's the upper chamber contracting first, there's a pause, and then the lower chamber contracts. And the electrical wire or specialized cells take that electricity from the upper to the lower chamber. There's supposed to be one area of connection between the upper and the normal uh, and the lower heart, what we call the AV node, or the atrioventricular node. Sometimes what can happen is there can be an additional area that is also capable of conducting this electricity from the upper to the lower chamber. So what if you have an extra wire or extra nerve cells conducting electricity? No big deal. Most of the times, not a big deal. But if you imagine two wires that are capable of conducting electricity very close to each other, current, instead of going from the upper chamber to the lower chamber, can actually form a short circuit between the normal and the abnormal. And the current goes in a circle between these two at a very rapid heart rate. And normally when your heart rate is 60 or 70 beats a minute, all of a sudden it speeds up to 200 beats a minute.